All right, hey guys, everything new under the sun. This is another What Is video, and today we're going to talk about the Tree of Life. And I was looking back in my previous archive of videos, and I did do a Tree of Life video about the book of, I think, Enoch. Um, and I have a video in the past about that. Maybe I'll try and link it if I, if I remember. But the Tree of Life is a very interesting thing because this is something we're going to have access to again. This was in the Garden of Eden, the Tree of Life. This is what allowed humans to live forever, basically. This was the secret sauce, if you will, in the, in the Garden of Eden. Um, uh, you know, along with uh, God's power, obviously, uh, life-sustaining power, to provide eternal life. And so that's why the Tree of Life was taken away, and uh, that's why they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, because they were going to live forever. And God didn't want to live the, the Adam and Eve to live forever in their sin, nor humanity to live forever in their sin. God wanted to allow them to die a physical death, so that they could um, be reborn uh, spiritually and be able to live forever with God uh, eventually again. And so this is, a, again, reading from the Jack Van Impey Prophecy Bible, uh, the front of it has a, a, you know, an A to Z section which uh, defines a bunch of words, terminology, and, and I was going through a, a bunch of eschatological words, uh, theological words, but this time I want to take a look at the Tree of Life. I'll read shortly what it is, but it's interesting because it relates to our near future. Now, I believe that the millennial reign of Christ is probably less than 10 years away at this point. So we're going to be eating of this, if you are saved uh, through the blood of Jesus, you're going to be eating of this um, in the millennial reign of Christ. Let, let's, let's get into it. The tree of life bears 12 manner of fruits and produces them monthly. So every single month, a new uh, uh, produce of fruits uh, is hanging on the tree for you to eat, basically. When Adam and Eve sinned by partaking of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Genesis 2.17, God drove them out of the Garden of Eden to keep them from eating the fruit of the tree of life, lest they would eat and live eternally in their sinful state. So God removed that so that they didn't live eternally in their sinful state. The tree of life will appear again in the holy city and in the... Uh, in the uh, I guess it does need to be separated from the regular mortals. We will return in the millennial reign of Christ as immortals, those who are saved by the blood of, uh, of the Lamb. Um, <clears throat> so it has to be kept from them because he doesn't want them to have eternal life um, yet until they recognize Jesus Christ as their Savior. Um, but the tree of life will be provided at least in the millennial reign of Christ uh, within the Holy City. It says, uh, appear again in the Holy City, Revelation 22 two speaks of that. Undoubtedly, this tree plays a part in promoting our endless existence, which I think is it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting that we're going to see this. For even the leaves contain healing or health for the nations. This is what the Bible describes. This tree of life, whatever this is, is it the pomegranate tree? Is it some other tree? Um, speculation has occurred, uh, has been out there as to what tree this was. Does that tree exist today, just not with its supernatural properties? Or is it a completely different tree that uh, we don't have access to? It's uh, out there in terms of conje conjecture. So this tree will be available to us in the millennial reign of Christ. And I believe it's probably less than 10 years from now that we'll get to eat of this fruit um, after the rapture, after the seven-year tribulation, uh, as we move into uh, uh, the millennial reign of Christ and rule and reign with Christ uh, for that thousand years. We will be the immortals, and we will be eating of this to keep us immortal, basically. Um, it says, uh, living under or in the light of the city. The word health is the proper translation, not healing. So um, this, uh, I guess, I guess the uh, technical um, understanding is that the tree doesn't provide healing, it provides health. So preventative, if you're eating this from the start, you have um, eternal life effectively. Uh, and again, that's why God removed it uh, from the planet so that we wouldn't live in sin eternally that we would have a chance to die a physical death um, and uh, be reconciled to Christ through Jesus Christ. Uh, so the, the word health is not a proper translation. Since there is no sorrow, sickness, or pain, healing is unnecessary in heaven or in the millennial reign of Christ in the, in the holy city. Um, so I think it's fascinating. And I thought I did videos about this before, but the fact that uh, we're going to get to uh, eat of the, uh, the tree of life not only that, we will probably get to see uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know how we're, it's going to be separated, but it's going to be interesting that we're, we're going to have at least access to the tree of life in the millennial reign of Christ. This is, is going to be what keeps us immortal, I guess, and 
in that day and age. I don't know 100%, uh, but this is what the speculation is, currently, the, the current understanding of it anyways. And so we will be returned to a state, to a, to a um, uh, eternal existence, uh, as it was in the Garden of Eden. And all the people of the world will live in peace uh, and security in the millennial reign of Christ, yet they will still reject God. But those immortals, you and I, who are saved by the blood of Christ right now, who, who get there and rule the reign of Christ, uh, will get to eat of this tree and, and live forever um, in the restored earth, where it's perfect and people have no reason to complain and they have no excuse not to recognize God as creator, as the Messiah, as the life giver. They have no excuse. And so it's going to be a, a, a fabulous place for those who recognize that God did create all this, um, but those who don't will still reject him. And uh, that's going to be wrapped up at the end of the thousand years, of course, with the, with the great uh, and final judgment. But fascinating stuff that the tree of life is something we're going to be, uh, you and I, if you're saved, uh, that we're going to be seeing again, um, maybe in less and 10 years. I think that's pretty exciting, and uh, I'll leave it there. Tree of Life, uh, it certainly deserves a longer video, a larger study um, to talk about it, and to talk about what trees could be uh, representative of that in this day and age. Again, the pomegranate tree uh, comes up. There's a lot of interesting symbology, um, and symbolism, etc., with, uh, with the pomegranate. So anyways, I'll leave it there, guys. Another What Is video, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.